This story is about a young woman named Mary Wollstonecraft, a writer who showed great passion about what she did and fought for women's rights. And this is how her story began. Hello there. You probably don't know me, but my name is Mary Wollstonecraft. I grew up in London, quite poor as a farm girl. You may think that my life was quite easy and simple, but it's more than that, really. You see, I was considered not normal for a girl. I was different. I was passionate to learn and wanted to get an advocate education. Time passed and she grew up and at the age of 24, she started her own all girls school in 1784 called Newington Green. Later on, she became a governess and from there she wrote Thoughts of Education of Daughters in 1787. Twas that following year, 1788, I began working for a man of the name of Joseph Johnson. I was working in London as a translator for him, helping him publish his workings. I, too, started writing books and novels and such of my own. I wrote a book called A Vindication of the Rights of Women, focusing mainly on how men and women should be educated equally. That same year, I left England to go observe the French Revolution in Paris. Anyways, I was staying with an American captain, to be more specific. Oh, and his name? <sighs> His name was Gilbert Imlay. We fell in love at first sight. Then, in 1794, I had my first daughter, Frances Imlay. So beautiful and fragile, I couldn't stop holding, even for a second. She then returned to London and started working again with Johnson and joined an influential group which gathered at his home where she then met William Godwin. Hello, I'm Godwin. William Godwin. And I didn't ask? I saw you from afar and thought you might be worth talking to. Well, you're not worth any of mine. Well, can I at least know your name? Mary. Just Mary? Mary Wollstonecraft. Well, it was lovely to meet you, but I have to go home to my daughter. Daughter? Yes, Frances. Well, I'd love to meet her one day. I'm sure she's as nice as you are. Later on, Mary introduces William to Fanny, but they don't exactly see eye to eye. Fanny, darling, come down and meet Mr. Godwin. So you're the man marrying my mother. Yes, hello. My name is William Godwin. You must be Francis. Your mother talks about you a lot. Fanny, honey, show a little more respect. Say hi to William, please, darling. Hi, Mr. Godwin. So sorry she's not normally like this. You know, I could po probably buy another pair for you. I don't want your stupid money or your pity. It's all right. Under I understand. Go after her. I'd be here when you come back. Fanny! Fanny! Freight this in like, get Come back here right this instant! Fanny, can I come in? Go away! Listen, honey, I know it's hard. Letting go of your father and having me bring someone else into our lives. But you have to understand, I've moved on. Well, I haven't. I just miss him so much. I know, hon. It's okay to miss your father. I still think about him sometimes, too. But it'll be okay. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you about him before. I should have told you earlier. But I thought you'd be mad at me, and you know, I love you, and him being in our lives isn't going to change that. Okay, I love you, Mom. I love you too, honey. So, so much. And I'll never let go of you, ever. You know, he really isn't that bad. I think you're going to like him. It took me a while for me to like him too. I'm glad you're here, Mom. We have something to tell you, Fanny. I'm pregnant. And you're going to have a baby sister. Oh. So, what do you think? I think it'll be great. There's only one question I haven't asked you yet. Will you marry me? Yes! The year of 1797, when William and Mary got married. And on March 29th, they had a baby together. They named her Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley, but unfortunately, Mary died after 11 days of giving birth to her secondborn. Later on, Godwin decided to adopt Fanny.
I'll take care of you and love you just like your mother did and won't give up no matter what, I promise. Fanny, it's going to be okay. Don't call me that. I'm very sorry for everything. And I know I'm not your dad, but I'm here for you always, no matter what. She's gone. I know you feel like you've lost everything. Your dad and your mom, but the thing is, um, well, I love you and always will. I love you too.